Hi guys, welcome back. We're ready for the second part of 10-1 and 10-2, dealing with parallel lines. And in this section, we're going to talk about times when you are told to create a line parallel to a given line going through a given point. This is extremely similar to what we did in section 9-5, where we had to find an equation given two points. But here you don't have to solve for the slope. You don't have to do the y minus y over x minus x. You're going to get the slope from the line that you are given because it's going to be parallel, so it's going to have the same slope. So the steps are to identify the slope in the given line, start a new line using that same slope so that they will be parallel, plug in the given x and y from the point that you'll be given, and solve for b, and then put it all together into your final answer. So let's go through that with this example. Here we're given the equation y equals 2x minus 3, and we're told to create a new line that's parallel to that that goes through the point 1, 6. So our first step is to identify the slope of our given line, and that would be 2, because it's in the m slot. In a y equals mx plus b, that's where the slope is, the m. So our m is 2. So we'll create a new line now using that same slope, but with a different b, a different y-intercept. And we will use then our 1 as x, and our 6 as y. So we'll say 6 equals 2 times 1 plus b. So 6 equals 2 plus b, and then we'll subtract the 2 and get 4 as our b. And then all you have to do is put it all together. So y equals 2x plus 4 is our final answer. Now if we graph both of those, if we graph the one that we were initially given and the new one, we will see that they are parallel. So for the first one, I'm going to go down 3, my y-intercept is a negative 3 there, and I'll go up 2 and over 1, and I'll do that a few times. So I have lots of points to connect. Then I'll use a different color for this one. And this one has a y-intercept of positive 4, so we're going to be right here. And then up 2 over 1, and I can't do that again, so I'll go down 2 and to the left 1 to get a third one. All right, and then you can see that those two lines are parallel. Also, as you can see, it does go through the point 1, 6. So you need to make sure that the line does indeed go through the point that it was supposed to go through. Okay, let's do a few examples. These first couple are really easy because they actually give you the y-intercept. Anytime it's a zero comma, it's going to be the y-intercept. So all you have to do to create a line parallel to that is use the same slope and then your b is given to you. So the slope for this first one is an invisible 1, and so we'll just write it as y equals x and then plus 4. Um, for number 2, we'll say y equals, and then we need the same slope. So the 2, so 2x and then this 2 is the b, so plus 2. I've left 2 for you to do there. They're numbered 5 and 6 just because I cut some of the others off. Um, and let's go down to these that will be a little bit more challenging then. So again, you're still going to start your line with the same slope. So we have an invisible 1 there. So I'll just go ahead and start this with y equals x. And then the next one, we're going to use the y equals 3x. So those are all going to be the same starts. And this one will start y equals 2x. But we have more work to do. So backtracking to number 1, 
we say y equals x and we don't know the b. So we have to plug in the 2 and the 5. So the 5 is the y and the 2 is the x. And so then you subtract 2 on both sides and you get 3 for the b. And so then you just say plus 3. For number 2, you have y equals 3x plus b, and we need to plug in the 1 and the 4. So 4 equals 3 times 1 plus b, then that's 4 equals 3 plus b. Subtract the 3 on both sides, and you get 1 for the b. So come back over here and say plus 1. Um, for number 3, we have y equals 2x plus b, and we will plug in a 2 and an 8. So 8 equals 2 times 2 plus b, so that's 8 equals 4 plus b. Subtract the 4 and you get 4, so then plus 4. So I'd like for you to try that for 4 and 5. And then these down here are even more complicated. And that's because you have to first get the y by itself. So uh, we did a little bit of this on the worksheet, getting the y by itself. So for number 6, you have to first divide everything by 6. And so that's going to give you y equals 1 half x minus 2. So then we'll start a new line with the same slope. So y equals 1 half x plus b. And then we'll use the point 2, negative 4. So that's going to be a negative 4 for the y. 1 half times 2 and then plus b. So this is a negative 4 equals 1 plus b. Subtract the 1 and you get a negative 5 for your b. So then you put it all together. Our slope was 1 half. Right up here we got the 1 half. So we have y equals 1 half x minus 5. We'll do one more of those together. Um, in number 7, it's a 1 half y equals 3x. So we actually need to multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll multiply by 2 over 1 on both sides. So that's going to give us y equals and then 3x times 2 is 6x. So this time we don't even have a plus anything in our original. But that doesn't mean we won't have a plus something for our parallel line. Um, but we do need to use then that same slope of 6 so we'll say y equals 6x plus b. And then we'll use our point, negative 2, negative 9. So we'll say negative 9 equals 6 times negative 2 plus b. So negative 9 equals negative 12 plus b. Add the 12 to both sides. That gives you a 3 for your b. And then you just have to write it all together. So again, our slope, our original slope was 6, so 6x. So y equals 6x and then plus 3. You can check these by taking this point and plugging it in, and it should be a true statement. And it will be here if you have negative 9 for the y. 6 times negative 2 is a negative 12. Negative 12 plus 3 gives you that negative 9. So go ahead and pause the video and go back up there and try the two that should be pretty easy. And then pause it again and try the ones down here that will be a bit more challenging. Hopefully these are the answers that you got. And I did show my work for the last few there so that you can check your work if you need to. That's all for this video. Until next time, have a great day.